The Spindletop Boomtown Gladys City Museum is trying out what could become a new tradition. The museum near Lamar University will become a Halloween night trick-or-treat location. Tom Wright joins us live from Gladys City with more. Tom? Thanks a lot, Kelly. You know, uh, of course, the kids are going to go trick-or-treating. They, they have to. And, and, and uh, the cool thing about coming out the, to uh, Spindletop Gladys City Boomtown Museum is they get to kind of see the environment here as well and so it's a it's a great opportunity to kind of expose them to this uh, this museum as well with this Judy Garcia and uh, you guys have never done this before it's the first time you're trying trying this out right. I don't know what, so, but, but you've been talking about it right we've talked about it something we've talked about it and we thought you know it's time let's do something fun you know, we're, we're, we're about history, but we want to do something fun. Yeah, because that's right. You guys do a lot of history right. education, mm -hmm. especially towards kids. But you guys are kind of just throwing that out the window for this one night. And it's that's just going to be a trick-or-treat event, right? Right. That's right. They yeah. can, the kids can come out, and they'll go building to building and trick-or-treat. And, and you have volunteers who are going to be handing out the, can, uh, the candy, different groups of, uh, you've teamed up with. Yes, we ha we have a whole list of volunteers yeah. that are coming out. Yeah, that's so. good. So they'll be they'll be in the buildings here on the grounds, mm -hmm. and they can go around. And, and but you also have some activities as well. For example, we have some of the, the ghouls back here doing so a pumpkin bowling. Pumpkin bowling. Yeah. 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 Yes. And these are these are some of your reenactors. Sometimes these are the, yeah. the outlaws. That these are the big ticket outlaws, yeah. and they're, they're always we can always count guns. on them. Right. Yes, they're usually <laughs> shooting guns, but we had them put their guns away. For okay, this okay, no gun, no gun play this time. All right. Hey, we also have Madame Larue. Yes, She's a fortune have. teller. I'm going to sit down and see what happens here. Sure. Hi, Madame Larue. Okay, uh, what what does my future hold in store? Well, I see uh, a lot of news. There's a lot of news coming, and sunshine. Lots of sunshine oh. for tomorrow. A lot of sun in your future. And I also see there's something very interesting here. Um, right broadcasting? Oh, does that mean anything that? to I, you? I don't know. It's not. <laughs> I tell you what, you're, you, you, I like your forecast better than uh, Greg oh, Bostwick. Greg. So uh, anyway, it's thank you, Madam LaRue. You'll be telling fortunes to yes. the boys and girls yes. tomorrow night. So again, it's uh, it's tomorrow. It starts at uh, 4 30, right? 4 30, 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock to 6 and uh, 30, right? <laughs> We make sure we get the time right. Rain or shine? Rain or shine. Okay. Rain or we're shine. Committed. We're committed. Okay. You, so you know, a little rain in Southeast Texas never hurt anybody. So, but it is. We're inside, but part of it is outside right. where the trick or treating is going to happen on yes. the grounds here, on where the all the ground. buildings are. So and keep that do, in mind. We do okay. have some covered. Some of our boardwalk right. is covered. So come on out. All right. Thank bring, you. Uh, everybody. What? Bring everybody. Yeah, everybody. Bring the dog. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow here at Gladys City should be a great time. They're going to test the waters on their, the, the Halloween event, see how it goes. It's one more opportunity to, to uh, go out and do the tour one stop trick or treating. Kelly, back to you. Thanks, Tom. Again, it's Spook Fest, and it starts at 4 o'clock until 6 30.